deep in a lab in the health sciences building of the Foothills Hospital, these U of C students are busy preparing for the 2009 iGEM competition. So iGEM stands for the International Genetically Engineered Machines Competition. So this was a competition put on by MIT that started back in 2004. The University of Calgary joined this competition back in 2006, and we are into our fourth season with this competition. In addition to the lab work, team members are also working on marketing, outreach, ethics, computer modeling, and a new initiative in virtual reality. The Second Life team is a kind of one of many sub-teams within iGEM, and what we are doing is creating a, an educational and public outreach um, zone within this world called Second Life. So we are adding to that. We're building uh, an island, a little zone within Second Life that will be all about synthetic biology, all about the science that our lab teams are actually performing right now. The project unites students from kinesiology, health sciences, engineering, and computer science. The whole idea of synth synthetic biology is to make biology easier for engineers because engineers usually like to simplify things and just make things um, just what they're told. So if we can simplify biology for them to construct something, then um, engineers can actually come in and be like, okay, we can construct this specific gene pathway or whatever that you want to make. So that's why engineers would be an advent advantage for this kind of as biology type work. Students are hopeful that even though the future of synthetic biology is uncertain, the prospects are promising. So there are so many applications. Like I said, when you can get bacteria to talk to each other to coordinate their behavior, you know, you can open that up to a wide variety of applications. Anything from, okay, um, as a community, let's have all the bacteria attack a tumor cell specifically and leave the rest of the body unharmed. Let's have them clean up oil spills as a group. Let's have them talk about, let's produce this antibiotic all as a group so that we can produce way more antibiotic and fight off infections. So those are some of the potential applications. Julie Phillips, NUTV.